Right now at 6, a state assemblywoman is joining the Democratic race for Wisconsin's 3rd Congressional District. And inappropriate messages. A new report details the misconduct allegation facing Chippewa County's sheriff. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 6. I'm Ken Kozarowski. And I'm Emily Brown. Bail has been increased for the man accused of killing 26-year-old Madeline Kingsbury. 26-year-old Adam Fravel appeared in Winona County Court this morning. Prosecutors asked for Fravel's bail to be increased to $3 million. Yesterday, the Winona County Sheriff's Office announced a grand jury indicted Fravel on heightened murder charges. He now faces two counts of first-degree murder and two counts of second degree murder. Kingsbury went missing back in March. Her remains were discovered over two months later. Fravel, the formal, former partner and biological father of Kingsbury's children, was arrested on the same day. He faces life in prison if convicted. Fravel's next court appearance is expected to be in December. Chippewa County officials have released a report detailing the misconduct allegation against the county's sheriff. A complaint filed in May triggered an investigation into Sheriff Travis Hakes. The complaint accuses him of sending inappropriate and unwanted messages to a new employee, some of which the report described as, quote, unequivocally sexual in nature. According to the complaint, Hakes claims the messages were intended to make the new employee feel welcome. But the report alleges that he did not communicate with other new or seasoned employees in the same manner. Hakes blasted the investigation in a social media post, saying he had no knowledge a formal complaint was filed against him. Now, the Chippewa County Human Resources Director is pushing back against that claim. The director says Hakes was notified of the complaint before the investigation started and that his rights have been respected throughout the process. A Wisconsin judge has blocked a school district policy allowing students to change their names and gender pronouns without parental consent. The judge ruled the policy violates the right of parents to make medical decisions for their children. The decision comes from a 2021 lawsuit. Parents say district officials improperly used a male name and male pronouns to address their 12-year-old daughter without their consent. At the time, the girl was questioning her identity, but eventually decided not to transition. A new Democrat has entered the race for Wisconsin's 3rd Congressional District. Stevens Point State Representative Katrina Shankland has announced her candidacy for the seat. She joins the pool of Democrats hoping to defeat Republican incumbent Derek Van Orden. In a statement, Shankland told News A now, quote, I'm ready to roll up my sleeves and fight against extremism and get things done for our community. Shankland has been a member of the State Assembly for 10 years, and she's been endorsed so far by seven labor unions. All right. Temperatures in the 80s today, feeling like it's July still, Greg. Yeah, that'll change here, but uh, yeah, we definitely did have the 80s one more day, so that's going to definitely change. We go into the next few days, the 70s and even the 50s are coming back, but overall right now, it's still a mild evening as you look outside. We have increasing cloud cover. We do have a front that's coming in associated with that front. We're going to have some showers. You can see big picture shows as we zoom in. All the clouds beginning to increase, but the rain is still well to the west, west of Minneapolis right now, but that is what we're, we're going to be tracking throughout the night and through tomorrow morning too that could impact your morning compute. Otherwise temperatures right now still very comfortable, very warm, low 80s to upper 70s pretty much area wide. Observed highs today. We we're in the mid 80s once again about 15 degrees above average for most locations. Continues the trend almost 20 degrees in some locations. So definitely it feels more like August than it is early October, but that's going to change. But for tonight really still mild conditions getting back to the low to mid 70s later on tonight. The rain chance will come later tonight. I'm going to break that down along with the chilly conditions that will be coming here. <laughs> once again, it'll be sweater weather as we get closer to Friday. All right. I actually like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank Thanks you, very Greg. Much. With a shortage of child care providers and workers on the rise in Wisconsin, one new program is looking to solve that issue. News 8 Now's Michael Germain joins us in studio to explain. Good evening, Michael. Ken and Emily, the program launched today called Quest, or Quality Jobs, Equity, Strategy, and Training, will provide 300,000 in training and assistance to 20 individuals hoping to fill seats in child care jobs around the region. Last year, the Department of Labor awarded $15 million to help train 500 people across Wisconsin seeking work in child care. Today, the Western Wisconsin Workforce Development Board announced how it will use its share of the funds right here in La Crosse. 
Early Care and Education Director of the Parenting Place, Audra Weiser, says many families are without child care throughout the Cooley region. We hear every day from parents who are desperately searching to find child care or they'll lose their job. Or families who are driving over 30 miles each way to find an open child care slot. Interim Director of the Western Wisconsin Workforce Development Board, Vicki Markison, says all child care providers should be aware of this program. So it's in the best interest of the, of the child care centers and providers to be aware of this program because we can help support them financially by paying for the services to bring that new person on. According to Child Care Aware of America, in Wisconsin, the average monthly price for child care is $950 per child which is 17% of the median household income. The program's funding will end on September 30th, 2024, as it is still unclear on how Quest will assist for future child care shortages. If you're interested in submitting an application, you can head to westernwdb.org. Ken and Emily. All right, Michael, thanks very much. Public safety workers go above and beyond to serve their communities, but because of their inherent danger, they, that kind of person can be hard to find. Western Technical College hosted a workshop at its Sparta Public Safety Training Facility today. It gave high school students the opportunity to learn more about public safety careers. One organizer says events like this show students that a career in public safety might be the right path for them. Oh, there's a great need for that, right? There's a high demand for these positions, and so to create awareness for the students up front, for them to see that this is a, a really good option for them once they graduate, um, is what we're excited about for them today. One student at the event says he's planning to pursue a career in fire protection. He says today's event made him feel more confident in here's his choice. So here's the thing. If you just go into it not knowing what you're getting into, then you might end up regretting it. So having an opportunity to kind of see what you're going to what career field you're going to be going into is really important. 20 students from six local high schools learned about fire protection, law enforcement, and paramedic careers at today's experience. Still ahead tonight at 6, Kevin McCarthy out. And an unprecedented, unprecedented move in the House leaves the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives seat vacant. Blaine's Farm and Fleet's jeans stock up sale is going on now. With deals so good, you'll want to stock up on your favorite styles for fall or even try something new. Like 40% off these special buy men's Dickies Flex jeans, just $23.99. Men's work and sport jeans, buy one, get one free. And kids' silver jeans are just $19.99. Plus, while you're in for jeans, get $80 instant savings when you buy four Cooper tires or $30 instant savings when you buy two. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Culligan Water takes pride in being your local water experts. We live here, work here, and dedicate our lives to improving our area's water. We deliver the world's best water treatment and the industry's best service to you. Culligan Water, your local water experts. How to change the way you pizza. Step one, grab a delicious Papa Murphy's pizza. Step two, bake. Step three, chow down on the deliciousness. Order the chicken bacon artichoke pizza right now at papamurphys.com. Hy-V Fuel Saver is now Hy-V Perks. Hy-V Perks members get members only prices on hundreds of products store wide every day. Get your free Hy-V Perks membership and start saving today. Bananas, H Perks price 39 cents a pound. Hy-V Butter, H Perks price 2.98 and Tide Liquid Laundry Detergent, H Perks price 9.97. Make the switch or sign up today. It's free and easy. The weekend to-do list. It's a lot easier with the help of a John Deere 1 Series tractor. Attachments connect with ease so you can knock out every task on your list. Whether you're moving earth, leveling a path, or mowing and mulching, one thing you're not doing is wrestling with the attachments. So you actually have time to enjoy your space and work on planning the next big project. John Deere 1 Series compact tractors. Versatile, easy, and affordable. Find yours at Tractor Central. It's a John Deere day. A historic moment. Kevin McCarthy has been ousted as House Speaker by a group of far-right Republicans. Representative Matt Gates accused McCarthy of causing chaos and lying to members of his own party and Democrats in order to get bills passed. Today's vote to remove McCarthy from the role came after Gates officially filed a resolution to oust McCarthy as Speaker. 
following through on threats made after the House barely averted a government shutdown. I think a lot of members are going to reflect on their thinking after this historic moment. I think anything that people have said before the McCarthy ouster uh, is probably uh, bearing less weight than the way people may be thinking about these questions after the McCarthy ouster. So the House will now need to elect a new speaker, but there's no clear alternative who would have the support needed to win the gavel. McCarthy's political future hangs in the balance, and it remains to be seen whether he will seek to win back the speakership. No House speaker has ever before been ousted through the passage of a resolution to remove them. Following today's vote, 3rd Con Congressional District Representative Derek Van Orden released a statement publicly. He says the vote to oust McCarthy will move the House to the left. He also said the eight Republicans who voted against McCarthy did so for reasons that are simply un-American. President Biden's son, Hunter Biden, has pleaded not guilty to federal charges stemming from his purchase of a gun in 2018. He appeared in a federal court in Delaware this morning. You may remember reached a tentative plea deal with the Justice Department on the gun charges, as well as misdemeanor tax evasion charges. But that agreement fell apart over the summer. Natalie Brand has the latest from Washington, D.C. Hunter Biden left the federal courthouse in Delaware Tuesday following his arraignment on federal gun charges. The president's son pleaded not guilty to three felony charges stemming from his purchase of a firearm in 2018. He is accused of both lying about his drug use while buying a gun and possessing a gun while using narcotics. The arraignment comes after a plea deal that included the gun charges and misdemeanor tax charges collapsed over the summer. Hunter Biden by being part of a plea deal that disintegrated um, is subject to a lot more legal exposure than he was last time he walked into that courtroom. Hunter Biden's attorneys have slammed the gun charges as politically motivated and say they plan to file a motion to dismiss, arguing he's still protected by that plea deal. His legal team is also expected to argue the gun charges are unconstitutional, violating his Second Amendment rights. So we're going to have the son of the Democratic president of the United States, who's pushing for more gun control, arguing that a statute that says you cannot be in possession of a firearm if you're a known narcotic user actually violates the Second Amendment. A special counsel appointed by the attorney general is overseeing the Hunter Biden investigation and could potentially bring charges on tax counts and other violations, although no other charges have yet been filed. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, Washington. If convicted of the gun charges, Hunter Biden faces a maximum of up to 25 years in prison. Still ahead, it's harvest season for Wisconsin state fruit. And despite this summer's drought, this year's cranberry crop is looking good. And you won't need the sweater tomorrow, but things definitely will be changing as we go towards Friday. We're looking at temperatures getting back just to the mid-50s. I'll break all that down and whether we see rain and wind with it coming up later on weather. With a tankless system, you can have unlimited hot water whenever and for however long you need it. Upgrade to a tankless today and never be left without hot water again. Rely on Maxwell White, plumbing done right. Hello, this is a real lawyer. Yeah, I've won a million cases and I'm on a bunch of billboards. Whoa, 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 buddy. If they want the real Nicolay, they should get the real Nicolay. Fine. Thank you. Russell Nicolay here. Yeah, we can help. In a world full of choices, make sure you get the real Nicolay. How'd you even get in here? What are you doing answering calls? Where's your mom, man? Welcome to ESCO. Welcome to huge selection and savings. Join Wesco and Sparta to celebrate a fun Wisconsin tradition, Oktoberfest. All month long, save up to 20% off store-wide. Plus, as a thank you, you get a package of locally made brats and a free beverage from one of the local watering holes when you spend $499 or more. Wesco and Sparta, where white glove delivery and setup are always free. Tell them Peyton sent you. Are you looking for a high-paying career without any experience? Chart Industries has the opportunity you've been waiting for. Starting wage $30 per hour, highest pay in the area, guaranteed 40 hours, so much more. 
If you are making less than $60,000 and want a healthy work-life balance, apply at jobs.chartindustries.com today. That's jobs.chartindustries.com. Turn the key and open the door to your next home with a home loan from Ultra. With a variety of loan options, from buying your very first home to building the home of your dreams, we're here to help make it happen with a local connection you trust. Our professional loan experts are with you every step of the home buying process and through the life of your loan, making it easy to handle your finances and getting you back to what matters most. Ultra Federal Credit Union, helping you live your best life. We've done many, many renovations. We bought an old house and have made it into an up-to-date house. Whenever anything involves plumbing, the first call I make is to Maxwell White. Their technicians put together a great final product. You're watching News 8 Now. Expect more. It's harvest time. The Wisconsin State Cranberry Research Station had guests out to their facilities today to learn more about the cranberry industry. The day also gave guests an inside look at how our state's largest and most profitable fruit crop is harvested. Members of the cranberry industry were there to share farming practices as well as the importance of having a cranberry research facility. We're losing products, chemicals, uh, herbicides, every year and we need to try new things out whether it's mother nature's way of doing things with products or new chemicals and just all production of checking out water making sure everything is good that comes back out brockman went on to say that they had a very successful crop this year despite this summer's drought. Wisconsin is currently a global leader in cranberry production and is projected to lead the nation for the 29th consecutive year. Wisconsin's all about those cranberries. I love it. Right? Yeah. In the meantime, uh, temperatures in the 80s, but sweater weather is going to be upon us very soon, Greg. Can't yes, believe it, it is. Not too far off, really. I mean, kiss goodbye for the 80s, at least for now. Maybe we'll see some warmer temperatures, but we do have some temperatures coming up here pretty soon that will reflect more of Halloween than what we're used to like August type temperatures that we had in the past couple of days. But overall, if you look at the big picture, we do have some precipitation coming up in the picture here, and that'll start really as we look at tomorrow morning. And then as we get towards uh, the morning commute, we might see a few showers and I'll time that out here in a bit. Small chances continue Thursday, but I think the best shot's probably going to be Friday and that could impact the high school games a little bit, at least the beginning hours of it. Temperatures not too bad tomorrow, still pretty seasonal or mild. It's really till we get to Friday when you'll see the noticeable job drop down to the 50s. Cooler this weekend, 50s, but we're going to rebound them next week back in the 60s, maybe even back to the 70s, so it won't last that long. But the showers associated with a front that's going to come through here, you'll start seeing more of those come through after midnight. Once again, this line does fall apart as it comes through after about 4. But once again, for those early morning risers you're out and about, you might see a shower or a storm. Well, it's not really much a storm. A shower or two as it comes through. But as we go past the morning commute, 7 to 8, a lot of that will push east, and then we'll start seeing more sun. You notice the winds will still be there, but overall more sun. So that'll allow the temperatures to climb up a little bit. And then in the afternoon hours, we might see another wave come across for northern areas, so like Eau Claire up to Ladysmith. Might see another shower in the late afternoon hours, but most areas south of that should remain dry for tomorrow. Overall, big picture shows you here's one system coming through. That's the one we just timed out. Here's a little bit of the back that we just timed out too. And then here comes a Thursday front that kind of falls apart as it comes through Thursday. It'll increase the winds again, but then we're watching the backside of this come through. That right there is where the really cold air comes through and the winds do pick up. Even some snow potentially in the Dakotas, depending on the time. And that's going to come through Friday more late morning, afternoon hours, that could change a little bit, but that's definitely the time frame that we're watching for, probably with the strongest wind, the cooler temps, and the better chance for seeing some widespread showers, at least that time frame. Overall, that'll continue through Friday evening. The weekend will still get this northwest wind that'll keep us cool, but most of the precipitation should at least push off to the north and to the east. Sunday looks the best day overall the weekend, lighter winds, and it was going to next week. You notice the winds begin to turn around, not a cloud really to the west, so we should start warming up and it looks fairly dry to go on for the, at least the early part of next week. The other story is the winds. Tonight we'll see some winds. They'll increase, but that should drop off tomorrow, Thursday. But then we're really going to key in is Friday is when the winds really pick up. You can see the wind speeds. 18 to 25. We could see even ones that are even stronger with that to 30 to 35 in the afternoon hours, evening hours. So along with the wet conditions, chilly conditions, 
for the high school games, you might be dealing with the wind too. So kind of just a different type of golf game that we saw last weekend. But tonight, we're just going to see a few showers come up, but otherwise it should still be fairly mild. Upper 60s, mid 60s up to the north. Once again, that shower chance is probably after about 2 a.m. And then tomorrow, some showers in the morning, maybe a little bit in the afternoon, but overall most areas will stay dry in the afternoon. Temperatures still warm up, mid 70s, lower 70s up to north, a little bit cooler, but still not quite where we're going to should, should be, but as we go to the eight day forecast, if it pops up right there, there we go, it's going to get down to the mid 50s. One thing to notice is those overnight lows, that's for lacrosse, drop those off, you're probably going to see some frost or freeze problems come into some of those areas as we get towards Saturday morning and Sunday morning too, something to keep in mind of. Okay, right. we'll do. Thank you, Greg. And coming up next in sports, two of Division IV's best go head to head on the volleyball court. Number two, Royal, hosting number eight, Waniwak Center for a big time scenic bluffs matchup. Cade breaks it down after this. The 2023 Fall Home Show going on now at the Board Store Home Improvements. High quality at a low price on windows and doors, kitchens and bathrooms, siding, decks, sunrooms and flooring. Don't miss it. This week's High V Hot Deals are High V Angus Reserve Boneless Chuck Roast, just $4.97 a pound. Buy two, get two free on select Pepsi products. And Campbell Soup, just 99 cents, only at High V. In the aftermath of an accident, you think it needs to be big and bad to call an attorney. What you don't realize is that perhaps it is big and bad and you just can't see it or can't see it yet. But as time passes and it becomes clear that you are going to live with your injuries for the rest of your life, you realize, oh, it was bad. Calling Schwabel gets and Sieben right away was the best thing I ever did. You need an experienced attorney on your side. Schwabel gets and Sieben. At Bagnevsky Heating and Air Conditioning, we know the cooling region's weather is unpredictable. 40 degrees today, 75 tomorrow. Is your HVAC system fully prepared to effectively handle the stresses of the next season? Beat the inevitable rush and schedule your HVAC clean and check today. Be confident your air conditioning unit and furnace will work when you need it. Call Bagnevsky Heating and Air Conditioning, your trusted train comfort specialist. It's hard to stop a train. Your train comfort specialist, Bagnevsky. To everyone who craves a fresh meal, come have a taste of Wisconsin. America's Dairyland. As in real dairy. It gives Clover's fresh frozen custard its famous rich and creamy flavor. Like really rich. So rich. Rich and creamy. And our cook to order butter burgers? They're topped with, you guessed it, Wisconsin cheese. But it's the smiles we put on your face with every meal made just for you. It really makes our hearts melt. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to Delicious. delicious. Nice. <laughs> This week's High V Hot Deals are High V Angus Reserve Boneless Chuck Roast, just $4.97 a pound. Buy two, get two free on select Pepsi products. And Campbell Soup, just 99 cents, only at High V. Covering all of the exciting action from your community, here's News 8 Now Sports with Kate Overton. Welcome to News 8 Now Sports. I'm Kate Overton. We're 34 days away from the start of Wisconsin Badger basketball. And one of the biggest storylines heading into the season is the return of Tyler Wall. The 6'9 forward is entering his fifth season on the Badgers men basketball team, and he's coming off of a career high in minutes, assists, and rebounds. It wasn't certain Wall would be returning for a fifth year, but after the season was over, it became clear to him that Wisconsin is home. Graduate from college so I could be done with that. Um, I could stay, I could transfer somewhere else, or I, could, or I could be here in Madison where I built kind of a little name for myself. I've had a lot of great memories, um, a couple of championships, and the guys in the locker room are just, was, was the bottom line of what really got me to come back in, into the, in Wisconsin. Well, Wall was expected to take a big step forward last season, but it looked a lot similar to his junior year. But now he's got another winter in the Wisconsin uniform, and the Badgers will rely on him heavily for his experience and versatility. And here in our area, we've got a huge volleyball matchup later tonight as the 19-2 Royal Panthers host the 21-0 Waniwak Center Wolves. Royal enters the game ranked number two in Division IV, Waniwak Center, number eight. It's as big of a matchup as they come. Both teams are undefeated in Scenic Bluffs Conference play, and they will face off again next Tuesday. So if you want to be a conference champion, you got to win this game. I had the chance to see both of these teams in action last week, and they are the real deal. Waniwak's 
Kelsey Justman can fly with the highest outside hitters in the state, and Royal has an army of Gruens that work so well together. It's going to be fun, and we'll have the highlights tonight at 10. And of course, we've got some exciting baseball going on tonight. Just moments ago, the Brewers and the Diamondbacks got started with some wild card baseball. The Brewers will host the best of three series and they enter the postseason playing some solid ball. But a lot of people have been questioning the roster for the series as the Brewers will be without Rowdy Tellez and, and Garrett Mitchell. And instead, we'll have Owen Miller and Jesse Winker who haven't taken a major league at bat since early September. But Council is a smart man and we'll see if his de decisions pay off. Of course, no Brandon Woodruff for game two. A replacement starter has not been announced. Burns on the mound tonight. Peralta in game three. All of the highlights tonight at 10. And then just moments ago, the Twins and the Blue Jays wrapped up. It says ninth inning, but it should say final because the Twins closed it out three to one. Royce Lewis playing the big hero in this one, getting two home runs. What a day for him. We've got a jam-packed show tonight, so be sure to tune in at 10. That's all for sports. We'll be right back. Get the day's news in your inbox. Email newsletters from News 8 Now. Sign up today. Go to news8000.com slash newsletters to get started. Get ready for the Fall Gift and Craft Show at the Onalaska Omni Center. Shop more than 100 of the best gift and craft vendors on October 14th and 15th. Parking and entry is free, but we are accepting non-perishable food donations. Don't miss the Fall Gift and Craft Show. Whether your project is large or small, get 11% off it all at Menards. From aerosols, floor coating, stains, and more, our paint department has the quality Rust-Oleum products you need to bring your project to life. Rust-Oleum Stops Rust 5-in-1 Spray Paint is the first ever adjustable spray paint can. Choose from five different spray settings so you can get a professional finish on every project. A can is just $6.49 each after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. When you're able to connect your finances and your gifts of giving and time and talent, it really helps fulfill my desire to be part of a greater good. Birthdays are something to celebrate, and our News 8 This Morning team highlight them every day. If someone you know is turning 8 or 88, submit a picture of them at News8000.com today. Look Who's 8, brought to you locally by Pediatric Dentistry of Onalaska. Little teeth, big smiles. Get ready for the Fall Gift and Craft Show at the Onalaska Omni Center. Shop more than 100 of the best gift and craft vendors on October 14th and 15th. Parking and entry is free, but we are accepting non-perishable food donations. Don't miss the Fall Gift and Craft Show. 40 seconds. All right, we got uh, some temperatures tomorrow going up to the mid-70s. That rain chance in the afternoons more for Eau Claire. Otherwise, we'll have some showers in the morning. It will be cooler, but still fairly mild for this time of year. The bigger story comes when we hit Friday. Temperatures plummet along with the wind, showers, and definitely mid-50s, maybe low-50s as we go into Saturday. So sweater weather, frost conditions, everything coming up. 55? <laughs> yeah. That fall weather is upon us. Can't believe it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm giving you a hard time. Hey, Brewers, let's go. I know, we gotta go, we gotta go watch. I know, we do. Let's take a little dinner break and uh, maybe you all watch with us. We'll reconvene at 10. We'll see you then. We'll see you then. Bye.